What's up, people? It's Kingdom the Seventh, and I happened to stay up super late just to see what Zer had to offer. And it looks like he had a bunch of good stuff to offer. Now I'm looking on. I already recorded the video. I have the gameplay, which you guys are gonna see. But sadly, the gameplay was louder than my voice, so I had to do a little bit of editing. So I'm going to be looking at my screen while I tell you guys what he has. So one thing I want to say, please subscribe to the channel for information, hit that notification for future Zer videos and future videos helpful to you guys, period. Um, I also wanted to tell you guys, I called Zer being on Titan. So there's that, I'm pretty awesome, sub for that too. But uh, anyway, so Zer had a good amount of stuff today. I didn't really like any of the armor pieces that he had. Maybe the Titan arms that he had could be okay in Rage, but for the most part, he had a Hunter Helmet called Foe Tracer that visually marks targeted enemies, deals more damage to low health mark enemies. Maybe that could be okay for uh, Rage. I don't know. I feel like there are better Titan exotics, I mean, Hunter exotics that you can use. Uh, you have the ACD slash Zero Feedback Fence. Melee kills build up an explosive energy within the ACD zero feedback fence. Being struck by a melee attack unleashes this energy in a devastating explosion. So, I feel like this is only going to be viable for raid, depending on how many kills it gets. Because if it takes a bunch of melee kills, then I don't know. Like, what are the chances you're going to get like six melee kills to get your explosion in a crucible game? And how useful is that explosion going to be? So, who knows about that? And then, for the Warlocks, we got the Sun Bracers. Increases the duration of solar grenades and grants uh, grenade energy on solar melee hits. Now, I mean, that sounds pretty good. But, if you want to use solar grenades, if you really want to do that, then you might as well just use Vortex grenades on, a, uh, on the on the Voidwalker side for Hunter or for Warlocks and we basically have passive abilities that allow us to do what these exotics do and then we have exotics that even strengthen that so I don't know that doesn't really seem too helpful but the key item on this list was probably the Wardcliff Coil it's a rocket launcher that shoots a long volley of rockets now I don't know what that means but it sounds really strong it actually sounds it looks and sounds like one of the uh, fallen weapons I can't quite put my finger on it now maybe I said this the last time but maybe this is the next Gallimore I don't know the the last uh, fusion that they gave us I forget the name of it but I think that's a strong fusion but Hey, we'll need to see how much damage the War Club Coils do in a, uh, on a raid boss or anything like that. But that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like the video for the information I've shared. If it helps you, please subscribe to the channel. This is Kingdom 7 signing off. Peace. Hear what I hear.